guys, it's Julia. So today I'm going to be doing a foundation demo and routine using the Makeup Forever products that I was sent by Makeup Forever and I showed this in my last unboxing video. In case you missed that, I will have a link to it below and you can go check it out. But this is not a sponsored video in any way, like I'm not being paid for this video and you know, bigging them up and whatever. But what I did is I actually took these products when I was on holiday in Vancouver. I went for two weeks and I took these products to test them out. These were the only foundation products I took. So I took the HD primer and then the HD foundation and the HD pressed powder. So I really had the chance to try it out and sort of make an opinion about it. So what I'll do is in the first part of the video, I'm going to apply the products and kind of show you my routine. And then in the end, I will give you my thoughts on the products and how I fared with them. So let's get started. So let's start off with the HD primer. So dab it over my face where I'm going to be applying the foundation. And I always actually apply moisturizer before this because these primers aren't really moisturizers. If you don't moisturize your skin before, your skin will actually produce a ton of extra oil to kind of compensate and that kind of leads to oily skin throughout the days. All right, so now I'm gonna grab the foundation, the HD one. I think it's N117. I believe that's the foundation shade, but I will look it up um, on their website and I'll have all the links below of all the products I use and also where to buy. And I'm gonna use the Sigma Flat Top Synthetic Kabuki Brush for this, which I have just slightly dampened so that the foundation is not going to be absorbed as much into the brush. So I'm just going to start stippling that on. And what I like to do is just go back, get a little bit, and I like to put most of the foundation kind of in the middle part of my face, like where it needs sort of more coverage right there. And then I'm just kind of buffing it into like little circular motions. So, and then you can also make sure that you blend this down your neck because you don't want to have like your foundation stop here. And you just, this is really important that you make sure it matches with your neck also. So when you're selecting the foundation, um, sometimes it's better to kind of make a long streak like this kind of down your neck, like you start on the side of your face and then go down. So for concealer today, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Lift con Concealer. This one is actually not my favorite. I prefer the, the full cover one. That's actually like one of my favorite concealers. I can't find it right now, so I'll just use this one. I'm going to apply that. This concealer, like it, it gives like a little bit of coverage, but I just find that obviously the full cover gives a lot more coverage. So if you have dark circles, um, I find the other one just does a better job. Although it's not even really meant as an under concealer, but for me, it just works better. So that's all done. Now I'm going to set it with the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Pressed Powder. It looks like this. It's like a colorless powder. So it looks white in the pan, but it's supposed to apply colorless. So I'm going to grab a big brush. This one is by OCC. It's the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Powder Brush. And I'm just going to dab this on. It's not like caking on tons of powder. It's just like a really nice light layer. Like gives a really nice finish. I'm not sure if this is really going to work on dark skin. Like if you have African American skin or something or just like Indian origin or something like that. Mm, you might want to be careful because some of these powders, they can kind of cast this sort of grayish glow on the face on dark skin. So at this point, I would go ahead and do my eye makeup. So I'm just going to do that quickly and then I'll be right back with you. The good thing is that I like the color match. I think it, you know, matches my skin very well. And um, I like that it comes in a very, very wide range of colors. So from the very fair to the very dark skin, I'm sure that you will probably find a match in there somewhere. It feels very natural on your skin. It doesn't feel like I've got like a really thick layer of foundation on. It feels light and natural. Um, and it, since it's HD, it doesn't contain sunscreen. So it would probably be very good for photography because it doesn't gonna it's not gonna have that flashback when you take a picture with flash so that you're gonna have this kind of white 
ghostly cast on your skin. What I don't really like about it is that it doesn't give me quite that flawless finish that I associate with HD. Like it doesn't, my skin doesn't look as flawless as I think it should. Um, as in it doesn't really cover completely any discolorations on my skin. Like I have a little bit of darkness underneath my eyes obviously and then I have some redness on my cheeks and I don't think it really covers that very well. Um, it looks a little bit patchy in those areas actually and it just doesn't you know look as flawless as I would hope it when it says HD like when I think of HD foundations they should just be looking really great also in video and in photography and on that kind of front, I'm not really that convinced on this foundation. So I think someone who does have sort of more issues with their skin would probably be even less satisfied with the coverage that this gives. So if you're looking for that very flawless, I know I've said that a million times, but that kind of almost Photoshop finish to the skin where it just looks so perfect, um, then I probably wouldn't go for this. But when you wear it on your face, um, it does look natural. Like it doesn't make your skin look caked on. So I guess in HD, you want your skin to look as natural as possible. So on that front, it's quite good. And I actually really like the powder. So I will definitely continue to use the powder also in combination with other foundations. I think it works really well. It's um, it's a great product to take along with you on the go with the compact. I'm just not 100% sold on the foundation because the finish is just not as perfect looking as I want. You know, my skin is already pretty good. And so if I want, if I put foundation on, I want it to look like perfect, perfect, you know? As for wear time, I, I, I do think it wears quite well. It does wear well throughout the day. Like if I apply it in the morning, there's still some foundation and it's still coverage um, by sort of late afternoon, which for me is sort of the maximum amount of time that I would wear foundation anyway. As far as the primer goes, I don't tend to use primer like every day when I apply foundation. If it is something that, you know, if you're really into primers, then this is probably, you know, good to buy in combination because it's kind of been, you know, made to use together already. So that, that I guess is good, but I don't really have like a strong opinion on the primer, to be honest. That is my review on the HD foundation by Makeup Forever. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you found it helpful, remember to give this video a thumbs up and like it. And I will see you for my next video. Thanks so much guys. Bye.